Dynamo Fan TV here. Now, I'm sorry for having this video a day late. Uh, yesterday I was really busy. Um, I recorded a video before the game. It just was taking almost two hours long to upload it. And by the time that video uploaded, the game would have been done. Uh, I said uh, my predictions for the game was going to be 2-1 Dynamo win. I said the Dynamo were going to win because Chicago Fire... Recently sold their goalie, their their first string goalie for five hundred thousand to I forgot what team in Europe, uh, and so I I thought that we had a chance, you know. Uh, the Dynamo executed; they attacked very well. Kyoto, uh, I believe in the fourth minute he scored. Uh, Elise was just everywhere. He helped a lot. Uh, you know, you know, he scored the second goal. He scored the penalty. Uh, he scored the third goal, which was just amazing. He cut through the defense just well. Um, I think Chicago Fire's uh, goalie should have been sent off. Uh, you know, he came out of his line. He he kicked. He tried kicking the ball, and I believe he collided with Ellie's, and he he hurt himself. Uh, I don't think the six minutes of added time were necessary or was necessary. Um, it was just it seemed like a little way too much for for the game. Uh, and when I when I saw six minutes, uh, I was like, dang, let's hope the Dynamo don't bottle this game. Luckily they didn't 3-2. Now we're 6 in the West. Or the Dynamo are 6 in the West. But I believe at this time LA Galaxy are playing Montreal. And that game is 1-0 right now. Galaxy winning, I believe. Uh, yeah guys, the Dynamo just did what they did. Uh, got 3 points. They play this Friday against uh, New York City. I'll be there, obviously. Um, yeah, see you guys on Friday. If anything, guys, leave it in comments. Um, yeah, follow the Dynamo Fan TV Twitter I'll, uh, and Instagram. I'll put the social media, social media links in the description. Thank you, guys.